play baseball under the tutelage of her father. And the family lived close to future Hall of Famer Dazzy Vance, who was considered the premier strikeout pitcher of the 1920s. Vance taught her how to throw a drop ball, better known today as a sinker. And that day against the Yankees, she was up against batters who had never seen her before. She had a devastating sinker, and being a lefty against two left-handed batters gave her an advantage. The day after the infamous game, Jackie Mitchell's contract was canceled. Many believe the baseball commissioner wanted her gone because he was embarrassed by the episode. And that was nine years before the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League was formed, which was immortalized in the movie, A League of Their Own. Jackie Mitchell went on to pitch for a few other junior teams, but hung up her glove at the age of 23, then went to work in her father's optometry office. She died in 1987 at the age of 74. The former director of the National Women's History Museum says the problem with that infamous day was that Jackie Mitchell beat Ruth and Gehrig, but she didn't actually win because she didn't get to keep her contract. And she has been long forgotten. History and the internet has a convenient way of overlooking female achievements. industry hasn't been particularly kind to women either. While there are a lot of women working in the ad biz, few of them were ever promoted to the top. 